Welcome to another series of the Backyard Professor videos. I'm Kerry Schertz, the Backyard Professor. You're seeing the bell in my backyard. It's quite a majestic mountain, isn't it? I'm in the Lem High Range of mountains. I want to explain what I'm going to be doing in these videos. I'm going to be discussing this uh, this information on the facsimiles in the book of Abraham where the accusation is Joseph Smith got everything wrong because he identified Abraham or he identified Osiris as Abraham on the lion couch in facsimile number one the critics contend he completely misinterpreted everything in facsimile number two and in facsimile number three they specifically say Pharaoh and the Prince of Pharaoh Joseph Smith identified with the hieroglyphs above their heads, and he's wrong. They don't translate out as Pharaoh and Prince of Pharaoh. So I'm going to explore these issues with you in this series of Backyard Professor videos. This is not a simple series to produce. It's probably not going to be an easy series of videos to watch either because I have shown how and why and which and when and who I explained the background without the Egyptian background we're lost Joseph Smith did not give us the background to these facsimiles at all he simply gave us terse short explanations the critics are saying that these are direct contradictions proving Joseph Smith's a false prophet. I'm going to take you through many series of videos. I suspect it could be 10, 11, 12, 13. You ought to watch them in succession if you can. And I know I'm asking you for a commitment of time, absolutely. It's probably like watching a, vi a movie, except on YouTube I'm stuck with 10 minutes per video shot. I have enough information that I believe my discussion on these facsimiles is going to take, oh criminy, I'll bet I have at least 15 series in this videos. You need to watch the whole series to understand. Now if you're just after a quick excuse to reject Joseph Smith, then you're probably not going to want to watch this video or series of videos. ULDS, this is some exciting information for you Mormons for we Mormons, because I believe there are solid Egyptological answers to the supposed contradictions. That's why I've gone to some pains to explain. I'm out in my backyard, my beautiful backyard, and uh, so enjoy this series. It's going to be a long series. A lot of my videos are going to be long series because I like to show the how and the why. I don't want to just give you the simple answer. No, Joseph Smith did not make a mistake. That's the answer, but it satisfies no one. I'm going to show you why I think Joseph Smith is correct. So enjoy this series of videos also. I do believe that's a sand hill crane on her nest. She's been watching the ducks. The ducks are flying around out there, but she's just about maybe 60 yards away from our campsite right here on this creek. It's a beautiful sight.
Hey! Just panning for a little gold. I've got a critic on the internet that says he thinks all I do is pan for gold in the bathtub. <laughs> it must suck to see that you're wrong. If this is my bathtub, I'll take it. <laughs> Just like that critic who uh, makes fun of everything we Mormons do, panning for gold in bathtubs and so on and so forth. Same with the critics and the facsimiles. I've got some good information I'm going to share with you. Starting with facsimile number two, I'm going to go through each of the figures and I'll show you that we're not just panning for gold in the bathtub. We're panning for gold where it is and we're finding it in those facsimiles in the book of Abraham. morning it's Saturday morning there's the bell trying to get over and around this corner for that sunrise it's Saturday morning 540 right now oh it's gonna be a gorgeous day today all that nice rain last night cleared out the air there's nothing more clear or cold than mountain air <laughs> That's the bell, that's the range that I want to get to. I'll get to it as I can. Okay, it's going to be a little rough going here for a few minutes. There's the bell. There's the mountain next to it. These are the mountains that uh, I'm going back to the charcoal kilns to do some video. There's the bell right there. It's a beautiful mountain. I'm going to get out right here, why not? Let me get out right here and show you this. You have to see it to believe it. There she is. There's the bell. The sun's just coming up. Just catching it. That's a perfect sunrise picture. <laughs> I'm thrilled I've got this. Worth waking up to. The rest of the mountain range. Right? Hope the sky's not too washed out. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Sunrise in the Lemhi Range. 5:45 in the morning on a Saturday. Just beneath the bell. I think that's either the third or fourth largest peak in Idaho. Some of the most beautiful mountains. 